Boulder, Colorado, one of the most picturesque locations in the world, let alone for college football, and you will see plenty of Buffaloes roaming here. What a game we have in store for you today. A Big 12 showdown, and the implications could last for the rest of the season. As we'll see, the Cincinnati Bearcats taking on the Colorado Buffaloes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. And the Buffaloes will kick it away to start. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. So the Sam Houston Bearcats offense is on the field for the first time today. And there he is, the man, David, that they build this entire attack around. And it's so nice to have a guy that makes everything easy for the people around him. The quarterback plays better because the feature is clear who that is. And we all hold our breath every time this guy touches the football. He's able to take it the distance on any given play. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. To the air, it's Soresby. Fires to the wideout. And he dropped it, just didn't put the thing all the way in. And you gotta put that one on the receiver. That's just a flat out drop. That's a good throw by the quarterback. That's a catch that receiver needs to make. And the crowd is getting into it early here on third and 10. From the gun, wants to pass. Extending the play. Breaks the tackle. I really like when the defense goes dying. More speed. Like so much speed and space in college football. You can put so many DBs on the field. In these situations, when they do take off and scramble, I go chase them down and make the big third down stop. And the Bearcats will call on their punt team. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Signals for the fair catch and hauls it in just shy of the 30. So Colorado's offense will get the ball for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt, they got to show up. Th these are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. The Buffaloes will hustle to the line. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive that he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. To the air, it's Sanders. Throws to the wideout. Let's it slip right through his hands, and it'll be fourth down after the rare drop from this dude. And the Buffaloes will bring the punt team onto the field. He'll call for the fair catch here. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. They'll give it to the back. So runs like that that can really help your field position as they're up at the 35. Off 
offensive linemen love to run the power. Why? You run power. You run power. Then you can play action. You don't want that defense to be sitting there saying, it's a pass, it's a pass. You're having to pass block every play. you got to keep defenses off balance. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. It's complete to the left. Really strong job by the defense. A negative play on third down. Well, they were counting on winning the one-on-one -on -one battle. They got the completion, but the yardage didn't work out. Yeah, and a lot of times, man, that's what I do on short yardage situations. Third and short, make my guy fall forward for a couple yards and try to get the first down, but it was a good tackle, and the receiver got absolutely nowhere after the catch. Running it back. It's Horn. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. And he intercepts it. Not able to get loose on the return, but what a play to put his team in business at the 33. Who says defensive backs don't have hands? Nice job breaking on the football and making the catch. A lot of times you see guys swat it down or you see them trying to catch it. It looks like they have two left hands. Defensive backs don't catch real well. Nice job breaking on the football. Nice job securing the INT and actually catching it. And the offense takes the field, ready to go back to work. The back goes in motion. Going up top on first down. Caught in the backfield, it's Kiner. The defense wouldn't let him loose it, even though it's a completion. They lost yardage. Love the awareness by the defense here. They're trying to get the running back the ball in space, but the defense was expecting it. They had guys in position. They located the football, and they went and game tag. And here comes the offense on second down. To the air. It's Soresby. Quick completion on the out route. And they bring him down quickly, but a good game there. You see it more and more. Smaller wide receivers. I don't care about their size anymore. I put them in the slot. I let them get a good matchup. They're so quick, people can't get their hands on them. They make plays, and I feed them the football. These are guys that have a lot of catches throughout the season. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Wide open downfield. And he'll haul it in and take it to the end zone. Touchdown, Cincinnati! Quarterback's abilities to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the timing. To be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone, that was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. Listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. Personal foul. Roughing the kicker. Defense. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. The kickoff team out there to boot it away and 15 yards farther up the field after the roughing the kicker penalty. Not going to give him a chance to make a play as they boot that thing through the end zone. Here comes the offense on first down. It'll be a draw. Nice move there. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. This running back just doesn't go down easy. It's just difficult for defenses to get him on the ground. Not a really huge, but if I'm an offensive coordinator, I'm going to continue to find ways to feature him and just, you know what, let his talent do the rest. And the Buffaloes are in the hurry up. They'll keep it on the ground. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down got to have short area quickness that running back there doing what it takes to make sure he got that first down they've got it at the 37 it's first and 10 from the gun leaves it on the inside with the back 
offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He'll do it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, they were trying to set up the option, but the quarterback had no chance. Did you see the defensive tackle penetrate? What a great first step. He shot right through the offensive line and got the TFL. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Snagged in the middle. It's Horn. Lots of green grass as he gets it to the 31. Love to see the fearlessness of a quarterback to work the middle of the field. And he's got so much confidence in his own arm talent to be able to get that football there before the defense can break it up. The Buffaloes are marching down the field. Off the play fake on first down. Unloads to the right. It's caught downfield. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. And the play will stand after the replay booth just does a little double checking to make sure. This time they'll go to the running game. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow at second and seven. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. One man in the backfield and he gets it. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. If you're going to stop the run game, you better be physical up front on the defensive line. They've got some maulers. They've got some dudes with bad intentions. Nice play there. And the Buffaloes want to move quickly. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. It's complete! And they'll get him down inside the five of this offense powering toward a score. Right there, I think you need a better play call. You gotta help your quarterback out a little bit because the throw has got to at least make it to the sticks. On that last play, you're basically trusting the guy to make a few dudes miss in order to go pick up that first down. I think you need to start being a bit more aggressive here when these third downs present themselves. Absolutely perfect. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. Pocket starts to collapse. And that defense gets to him and down he goes at the nine. Man, a lot of coaches talk about starting the drive positive and the first play that can get you going. The QB just kept backing up and going backwards, and that is not the start to the drive they were looking for. Let's see how much they can get on second and nine from the 20. Looking to throw at Soresby. Fires into traffic. It's picked off. And it's going to be a pick six. Touchdown, Colorado. 
What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense. Go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. Well, the good news is they threw a touchdown pass last time. It was just to the wrong team, Jesse. Well, that's an unfortunate part of the game for quarterbacks, but guess what? They do have it, so you've got to be able to turn the page here and lead this offense. Well, I think you know this defense is going to be aggressive. They're going to jump routes. They're going to play aggressive. You've got to take advantage of that. Maybe use that this time to your advantage. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. They feed him again. They tried it again and got the same result. They'll get nothing in like it. Now they're looking at a third down. you got to have that defense you know you can go to in running situations. Your base defense where you say, okay, this is where I'm going to start. And I'm going to stop the run, stuff it up front. My guys play big up front. And if I need to add some blitzes to it later on down the road, I can. A great job in the base defense making a play. They go to the draw. Really needed a play like that to get out of their own end. They move the chains. They mark it at the 29. And that is exactly why you stick to running the football. Haven't had a lot of success, but boom, you pop one, right? That's what you got to do. You got, you cannot become one-dimensional and just throw the football every down. Love the offense, stick into the run. Nice job getting the first down. They'll go to the ground. Really nice job creating his own space, running with attitude. He's up to the 37-yard line. This defense has got to get better at tackling in the open field or gang tackling because if you need three or four guys to bring a guy down, <laughs> have fun with that. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Here's the handoff. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Now that's what you try to do as a defense. Limit those damage when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Will they keep it on the ground again? You're on third down. They'll try to run for it. The Bearcats have enough for the first down. That is how it's done on third down and short. And no doubt about it, an easy hole to get through and clearly get the first down. If you really want to simplify football, the low man wins. That time, the offense got the better of the D. Easily pick that up. The Bearcats are rolling down the field. They'll run the option. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. Softened them up with a run, and now to throw. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. Guys, Colorado has the lead here. And after that first quarter, let's see if these guys can get back in the game in the second. And the Bearcats come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Hands it off. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. 
After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He'll pull it on the read. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And that's not the option they were looking for. You know, you want to run that option and maybe pitch the football, but that play looked dead from the jump, and the QB had nowhere to go. They're a perfect two for two on third down on this drive. They need eight to move the chains again. Back to pass at Soresby. Unloads to the wideout. Got him downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. And the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time. Spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. And the Bearcats want to crank the tempo. Trying the run, it's Kiner. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. I know the passing game sells and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards of pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He's looking to throw. Got it! And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Hey, I'll tell you what, that slot receiver, he may not be the biggest receiver in the world, but he is shifty and he runs really good routes. You saw it on that play. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. Looking to throw for it. He caught it. He stopped just short of the goal line, but they'll have it first and goal from the one. Well, they caught the defense off guard with that play right there. Here they are in field goal range, just third and short. You know, the odds say it's going to be a run. Instead, they throw it. They get a big play now setting up first and goal. The Bearcats have it in scoring position on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Bearcats! That drive was what every father wants his daughter's romances to be like. Slow, take your time, <laughs> drain the clock, no hurry at all. Sometimes love is a slow burn. That's what we just saw in that last drive. I am so impressed with the execution, and I love their ability to run the football. These players, they're coached up. They're coming out here, and they are executing exactly how their coaches prepared them to do in this game. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, they're up 14-10. to 10. They held the ball for 15 plays on that touchdown drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard punch. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. Colorado has the ball back and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. They shut it down quickly, but he gets two out to the 18. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous. And the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. And the Buffaloes headed quickly to the line. Looking downfield, it's Sanders. Finds a soft spot in the middle. At the 35, he's got room. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. You gotta give the old line a lot of credit there because it gave the receiver time to work all the way across the field on the drag route against zone coverage. Quarterback gets it to him, he's able to turn it up and get a first down. Leaves it with the running back. He's knocked down in the backfield, he'll lose a couple. So no room to run there and you wonder after that loss on first down where they turn now. Yeah, and that's why it's so important for the defense to win these first downs, right? You want to create negative plays to make this offense so much more predictable. 
after losing a couple on that last play here, second and 12. They go right back to it. Hard running there. Good, solid tackle. Yeah, I wasn't sure if the offense was going to be able to dig themselves out of this hole, but on second in California, they dial up the running play, now setting up third and short. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. He's got enough to move the chains, and they'll spot it at the 47. Well, the offense is in a really nice rhythm right now. It seems like no matter what they're dialing up, they're getting positive yards, and it just feels so good as a play caller when you know on first down you can get yards like that turning around and handing it off. Yeah, and on the other side, you're scratching your head going, what the heck can I do here? you got to find something. The defense has got to find a way to create some momentum. Whatever they're doing right now, it's not working. So you got to keep going through that play sheet and maybe find something a little bit different and give this offense something to think about. Well, they're trying to run the football there, just nowhere to go. They got dominated up front at the point of attack. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. After run, 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 now throw. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Hayden. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. And listen, if I'm the quarterback, I'm trying to dump the ball off to my playmaker and make this a manageable third down, get something positive. But how about the defense just reacting so fast, getting to the running back and getting that sucker on the ground in the open field? Back to throw, it's Sanders. Fires to the wideout. Balls it in. Knocked down immediately, but they couldn't stop him from getting the big gainer to the 30. And they just want to give this guy a chance to make a play on third down, and more times than not, he is going to deliver. He's so good, so efficient, such a good route runner, got the speed, got the complete game, so you definitely want to highlight him, and especially on those downs that matter the most. If something's not open quick underneath, find him, he'll make those contested catches. They're trying to get to it. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Well, the problem with the play-action game is that it forces the QB to hold on to the ball just a little bit longer to allow some of these plays to develop. And, of course, that gives this defense longer to get after him. Negative play on first down. That's what a defense always wants. He's looking for a man on second down. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. And that defender was just smothering the quarterback on that screen attempt. You know, the QB's taught to hold on to it to the last possible second. He had no shot trying to negotiate that defender. They'll snap it for the 10th time on this drive, but they need a chunk on third and long. Oh, and he just flat dropped it. You do not see this guy do that very often. It'll be fourth down. And that's a play on third down. This offense just has to do a better job protecting their quarterback, give them a split second more time to complete that throw, but they couldn't do it there. The Buffaloes will try to pin them back with the punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And he can't quite get it down or out of bounds. It's into the end zone for a touchback. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. They'll throw it on first down. Forced out of the pocket. He'll pull it down and run. He turns this into a nice game and gets down to avoid the hit. He does a good job of dropping back, going through his progressions. Nothing there. What do I do? Go get some yards. Make it positive. Don't sit back in the pocket and force something into a bad situation or take a sack. Great job making something out of nothing. They came out humming on this drive, and now it's first down from the 36. Dropping back, it's Soresby. It's complete on the right side. 
Well, they're able to complete the hitch throw against man coverage, and hey, quarterback's got to be able to get it to him quickly because he knows that defender is going to be driving on the ball. So really nice job, not hesitating, getting it to him, and then he gets what he can get after the catch. Let's see what they've got on second down. Touch pass on the run. And he's stuffed by that big defensive tackle up front. Really good job by the defense. Seeing it and going and getting it. Nice job understanding the touch pass. It can happen. Those guys go in motion, man. I got to understand safety's got to see that start flying down, getting ready to play that. Nice job by the defense being ready for that. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. Well, quarterback went down behind center pretty quick that time, and it makes you wonder as a play caller, against this pass rush, do you start thinking about maybe rolling your quarterback out and changing the launch point? down and put a stop to the return at about the 28-yard line. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. That last one looked like a back-breaking drive, David, but they ended up punting. Yeah, they put some plays together, put some yards together, but the most important stat is putting points on the board. And this offense has to finish, Jesse, when they get across that 50-yard line and start getting in scoring territory. Yeah, there, there was some good execution, no doubt about it, but I think it's the critical down in distances. Third down in particular, they've got to be better moving forward. Off the play fake on first down to throw. That's caught. It's Hunter. They are finding soft spots in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. And the Buffaloes come to the line in the hurry up. The RPO, it's complete. And just a short, safe pass play, they pick up a few. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. This offense has a second down play. Back to pass, it's Sanders. Good timing on the quick out. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Out routes are very much about timing. You gotta, it's got to be a quick, decisive movement from the quarterback. As soon as he sticks that foot in the ground, you know he's breaking out. Throw it right now so he can go make you play. Great pitch, great catch. And the Buffaloes getting set on first and ten. He'll keep it himself. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, the defense came into this game ready for the quarterback option, and everyone played their assignment. They forced the quarterback to keep it. They rallied to him, made a tackle. Nice job early in this game playing good assignment football. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He's looking to throw. He's got it on the run. Touchdown, Bucks! Made the snag and strolled his way into the end zone. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. I'll tell you what, eat that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. Ready to try the point after. And 
And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finish it by firing one in from the 13 for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it out. It's Henderson. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. And the incompletion brings up a second down. Looking to throw at Soresby. Fires to the middle. And completed. He threw that one up for grabs and into traffic. Fortunate to get it back. Man, the defense is making it tough on this quarterback early. They already have an interception. They almost came away with another one there. They're doing a great job reading his eyes and breaking on the ball. Now on third and ten, if they can move the chains here, maybe they can get this drive started. Leaves it with the back. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. And the Bearcats will line up to punt it away. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. Fair catch, called for and made. First down for this offense. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. That's so frustrating for a quarterback. He sees an open guy, he's ready to rip the football, and then all of a sudden, one of those defensive ends gets their big mitt in the air and knocks it down. Couldn't make the connection on first down. Now here on second. He's looking to throw. A strike downfield. Running toward the tape. Touchdown, Buffaloes! And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. This offense is high octane, boy. You just saw it. Not a lot of time needed for them to go all the way and score six. Well done. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. That last drive didn't take long, just two plays to get it in. And the score comes on a huge play in the passing game, covering 67 yards to the end zone. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room and not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Meerkat offense ready to go back to work. Running out of time here in the first half and they do have a chance to make this a one possession game. And so you gotta locate your best players and get them the football on this drive. You're down in the game. There's obviously a lot of football left, David, but on this drive, in this two-minute situation, best players got to touch the ball. And this could get into pressing mode, right? Like you go into the half, down a couple of scores, it starts to, the pressure really, really mounts. Good opportunity to take some of that pressure off, get some momentum, energize this squad going into halftime. Great play by the defensive back, showing you his variety of skills. His ability to turn the hips, his speed running downfield, turning his head to locate the football and then swatting it away. You just can't do it better. They've already punted four times in this game, and they're about to run the guy out there for a fifth time if they don't pick up the first down here. The defense calls the timeout their second of the day as they try to get their act together. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carry. 
And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free. Blumen making the backfield for a tackle for a loss. Little pressure on the coverage team there, and they'll stop him at the 47-yard line. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. To the air on first down. They're bringing heat. And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. I love the defensive effort there. They didn't get him right away. They stayed after him. He was scrambling, going backwards. They get the sack on the first play of the drive. Now the offense has to overcome the negative play after the defense comes up with a sack. To throw, it's Sanders. And the defense gets loose, bringing the heat, and down he goes again. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Let's see what call they have on third and long from the 28. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. How about the effort by the running back? Great job. Listen, it's not an ideal situation, but when you get yourself backed up like that, and it's third in eternity, you put yourself in a bad situation. He, he almost climbed out of it single-handedly. Nice run, nice effort by the running back. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Clock is wound down. Just over 20 seconds to go before the break. They'll have it first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. And a little too much adrenaline on that throw never gave his receiver a chance. Second and ten after the previous play. They'll try the run. And a really short game before he gets a whole bunch of company from the defense. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. A first half that saw a little bit of everything there in Boulder. Two quarters of both sides feeling each other out and it's likely to come down to which offense can find a way to generate some big plays. Adjustments will be a part of it. Maybe it's time these typically conservative play callers open up the playbook. Nothing crazy, but a calculated risk here and there to try to gain an edge in what's been a stalemate. With that said, let's send it back to the fellas at Folsom Field. will kick it away to start the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. They had this lead to start the third quarter because of the passing game. Didn't get a lot done on the ground. They did, but the quarterback is in a rhythm. That was obvious in the first half. And so this first drive, you want to continue that. You want to see good decision-making. You want to see him playing on time. And as always, delivering the football. With that. I mean, I don't know how I don't give him the football. It's the reason I built the lead. He's the guy that I can trust. This offense is built around him. So I expect more of the same here in the second half. Looking for space. It's Hayden. Gets the nose of the ball to the 25. Give him one. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. It hasn't been physical. The Buffaloes racing to the line in the hurry up. Quarterback on the keeper. Really nice job to get it past the sticks. Pick up the first down at the 30. 
How great is it to be an offensive coordinator having a quarterback like this? Because he can go and generate first downs with throwing the ball and running the ball. It seems like there's nothing this kid can't do. And the Buffaloes have it with a first and ten. He wants to throw. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass and it never had a chance. Well, he didn't have a whole lot of time to get rid of that one. The defense was all over him right after the snap. No wonder that thing fell in. Offense gets set for second down. After the incompletion, they go back up top. Got it in the middle, it's hard. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field for passing. And the Buffaloes are on the move. Grabbed on the outside, it's Hart. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. Some hand fighting at the point of the catch will draw the penalty, but this one is going to go against the offense. Dropping back, it's Sanders. He finds his man. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. It's so nice as a quarterback when you've got a guy like that working for you in the slot. He has such a good feel to find the open spaces in the defense. Just makes life so much easier for his quarterback. Looking to push the pace with the no huddle. The give to the back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this deep tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. This will be the seventh play of the drive, and they need to convert third and six. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. He's got an open man. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is, and you saw it right there on that play. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. Defensively, you'll take the slow death. You'll take three, four, five yards a pop. But you can't give up the massive plays. you got to do a better job containing the football, making them run to guys, and get, get them on the ground, for goodness sakes. This guy is fast, I know, but defensively, we got to swarm to the football and get them on the ground. Now from inside the red zone. He's got it. They get him stopped at the two, but it'll be first and goal. And this offense is just so dynamic because they've got playmakers at all the skill positions, right? We just saw a big play in the running game. Now we see one in the passing game. There's not one dude that you can key on here if you're on defense to try and slow them down. The Buffaloes are threatening on first and goal. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. Touchdown, Colorado! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. I think the days of running backs just running downhill are out the window. You better be able to do this. You see the playmakers slipping down the backfield, throw up the football, he'll handle the rest, get the end zone for the touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. 
really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. Trailing now by 17, David, this is an opportunity that they need to answer. And down by 17, it's not panic mode yet. Like, I know we just gave up some points and our defense hasn't played great. I think this offense can still be who they are and stay consistent. No doubt, lots of football to go, but you do get the feeling this is the time of game where, you know, it could get bad. If you don't score and all of a sudden they get the ball back, they take it down in the field and put some points up, this thing might be over. So absolutely, this quarterback, he wants to drive this offense down the field and at least put something. And you want to talk about gang tackling everybody on the defense, run to the ball. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside. David, he puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion. So everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run it. Just It makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of the spot. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to put, have push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the outside. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Unloads to the wideout. Got it in the middle. It's Horn. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. I tell you, this quarterback has just been in a great rhythm all game long. With that last completion, he's now over 300 yards passing. And the Buffaloes want to pick up the tempo. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. The first down sack pushes the ball back for this long second down. Looking downfield, it's Sanders. And he just overshot his man and threw it out of bounds incomplete. Let's see what they find in the playbook for third and long from the 43. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Part of the backfield, it's Hunter. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. You got to love that. On defense, one of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. What do you do? You've set up fourth and long. You're going to get the ball back. Go get some water and celebrate. That thing was down for a while, but the big bounce carried it into the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. And I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Ran the ball on first down. Let's see what they do on second. The give to the back. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anywhere. And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down or else they are really in trouble. He's looking to throw. Get it out on the screen. 
They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. They allowed the completion, but this defense was swarming to keep them away from that first down line. Yeah, and you allow completions in those third down situations underneath the sticks, and you come up and rally, and everybody flies to the football. That's great execution by this defense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. And the Buffaloes moving quickly to the line. On the run, it's Hayden. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Man, sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Back to throw, it's Sanders. Got his man downfield. Offense on the move. A big play there, gets it to the 30. The Buffaloes will line it up on first and 10. He'll do it himself. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. You know, I really like this QB running the football because I know he's got a lot of speed, but he's not the biggest guy in the world. So he's not going to be able to break a lot of tackles. You really got to do a good job of trying to scheme ways to get him out in more space. And now on second down for this offense. Give to the running back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. I love this linebacker because he's able to dissect what's happening in front of him, and he reacts downhill, uses his speed to get to the line of scrimmage and create the negative play. Third and long from the 30-yard line in this defense, hoping to knock them out of field goal range. It's a draw. Dances away from one. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. Great timing on the drop play, too, by the coaching staff. It's a down and distance where the defense thinks it might be pass, so you hit him with the draw and get a big game. And the Buffaloes are moving quickly down the field. He'll pull it on the read. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Option football is about responsibility, but I can't give up my hand. I can't show him really quickly and make it easy on him. Good job by the defense, staying patient, defending all the options, stringing it out, making a nice play. His drive facing a little adversity on second and 11. Going to the running game. Knocked down, but not before he crossed into the red zone and picked up four yards down to the 17. And the Buffaloes in the hurry up. Looking to throw, it's Sanders. Working that left side now. Works his way to the four-yard line, and they'll have it first and goal. And with that pass right there, dude, he goes over 350 on the day. Nice performance. This QB's been dialed in. The Buffaloes trying to cash it in on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And you got to get locked in in the red zone. A lot of defensive coordinators, they'll tell you, we'll give up yards, but we got to understand what we're trying to get accomplished. Great job down here near the goal line. This defense bowing their neck up and getting a big stop. 
Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? They'll run it to the left looking for the end zone. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. They've gotten pushed back, but it's still third and goal. Let's it go to the end zone. Touchdown, Bucks! And the pummeling has started. And this offense continuing to put up points. This game's out of reach. You know you're going to win, but still throwing the football, still finding that connection. I imagine there'll be some salty handshakes at the end of this game. PAT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they cap things off with a 9-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff unit about to go to work. Let's see what he can do with the return. And the returner is stopped. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around. And he will be sacked at the six-yard line. All right, this quarterback is going to have to start playing with a clock going off in his head. He knows he cannot hold on to the football too long with players like that getting after him. And now they have enhanced their degree of difficulty on second and long from the six. Back to throw, it's Soresby. Quarterback strolling away from Heath. Good run on the play, and he slides to avoid the hit. When he gets in long yard in situations defensively, you're thinking pass, pass, pass. How about the quarterback doing a great job? He wants to push it down the field, but he does a great job scrambling, chewing up chunks of yards, and now making the situation a lot more manageable. You've got a third and manageable, backed up in your own end, but convert here and you get some momentum. Using the quick game. And they wrap him up, but not before. He gets enough on the catch for the first down. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. Comes out throwing on first down. Grabbed over the middle. It's Johnson. Nice job by the receiver on the in route there. And how about the speed after he made his break? He was able to actually separate a little bit from the DB, helping out his QB on that one. Second and short now after that completion. He's looking to throw. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. At this point in the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. Went up top on second down. That leaves him needing a yard here on third down. They're going to throw it again. Grab near the marker. It's Smith. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it was a great job by the offense. Hey, you see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. Maybe this will breathe a little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and ten. He wants to take the top off. Catch inside the 25. 
and they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. And Jesse, there's a huge mountain to climb here, but you might as well start with a chunk play. Well, you got to start somewhere, Reese. It's been tough going for this offense all game long. They find themselves in a hole, but I love the aggressive nature. Keep taking shots. Keep trying to claw your way back into this one. On the ground, it's Pryor. And this running back right now is sending a very clear message. He doesn't want to just be known as a guy that can run around you or run away from you. He wants you to know he can lower the shoulder and get those tough yards if need be. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Wide out in motion. To the ground with the back. Give him about a yard on the play. It's down at the 10. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Looking for a man. It's Soresby. Snags it. Gets it inside the five. Down to the four. And it'll be first and goal. Perfect timing to call that pass play. It's third and short down here in the red zone. Everybody in the stadium expecting you to run the football, and if you don't get it, maybe you kick a field goal, maybe you go for it on fourth. You don't have to worry about that now because of the pass completion, it's first and goal. They'll use the running game on first and goal. Touchdown, Bearcats! And they take it in for six more points. And the running back gets his second rushing touchdown of the game. You want to continue to feed this guy. You can tell he's got a nose for the end zone, knows how to get in there, knows how to make things happen. Now the two-point conversion attempt is coming. Quick touch pass to the receiver. He'll make his way in for the two, and now they're down by 16. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Fires toward the target. Connection to the right. They'll move the change after he gets into the 43-yard line. Defense just hasn't had an answer for this guy. He has been on point. This is about as good as I've seen him play at the quarterback position. And here in the fourth quarter with the big lead, he's still taking shots. And the Buffaloes will hustle to the line. He'll come out throwing on first down. They'll run the screen. They make the stop, but a good pickup there on first down. Uh, he didn't get a big gain. You, you want to call that play and probably want to get more yards, but you could tell that was super close from seriously busting loose. Nice job running the screen, getting the ball to your playmaker. If he could just make one more guy miss, that might have been huge. They'll run the option. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. You know, this offensive line, they just got to hold their blocks a little bit longer. This offense likes to run their quarterback on design plays. And if you can just give him a little crease, he can take it the distance. But they couldn't get it done there. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up on the ground here. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Keep the foot on the pedal if you're on offense here. You got that yardage. Yeah, you didn't get the first down, but you've set yourself up now to go for it here and keep this drive alive. And the Buffaloes will send out the punt unit. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. 
a fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. The give to the tailback. Tackle is made at the 28 after a pickup of three. Small gain, I know. But again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him onto the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Got three on first down at second and seven. Looking for a man. It's Soresby. Makes the grab down the middle. And they do a really good job. Not as easy as it looks to get those blocks. And he picks up the first down. I think if you're the head coach at this point, you're telling your offense, it doesn't matter what's happened up to this point of the game. Obviously, things haven't gone our way, but we have a chance to execute in a two-minute situation and give ourselves a chance to win. Let's go do it one play at a time. From the gun, the ground game. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. I'm not trying to catch the ball as a defensive back all the time. I'm just making sure you don't catch it. Great job getting the deflection, fight through the hands, make sure he can't put his hands together to try to catch that ball. They couldn't make the connection on second down. Now a third and seven to keep the drive alive. Throws to the tight end. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. The critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. you got to be able to make that play. Down by multiple possessions. They can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. Incomplete, the defense holds. A great spot to start this drive for the offense. The give. Makes a man miss. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. They've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, and there's certainly still plenty of football to go, but this is where you'd love to control the flow of the game, right? You want to dictate everything to the defense, and you do that by running the football. That was a really nice run. This offensive line is firing off late. Looks like they're getting stronger as the game goes on, and that is a good sign for the offense. Got like that big, reliable security blanket. And that's what tight ends are a lot of the times. They're just usually big, huge guys that if I throw it anywhere near him, he's going to pluck it, catch it, and give me some positive yards. This is the type of play that decides games. Are you tough enough to convert third and short from the 30? Dropping back, it's Sanders. Got his man in the middle. Just outside the red zone as they pick up the first down, they'll spot it at the 22. And you just get the feeling that this defense has to find a way to get off the field and get the football back at this juncture of the game, trailing late if they're going to win. The Buffaloes are in the hurry up. They go to the ground. Trucks through the defender. Knocked down but not before he crossed into the red zone and picked up four yards down to the 17. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Off play action. Fires to the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. Sometimes as a quarterback, when you're feeling a rhythm and you're feeling yourself, you just want to keep taking shots, right? This guy's already thrown three touchdown passes. He saw a look he liked, decided to let her fly. Haven't seen a lot of balls falling complete, especially deep down in the field. That one did, but I'd expect this guy to keep letting it go. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. 
And there were some collisions in there, and the D finally stops him short of the marker. Yeah, and that's a really good job by the defense, because when you get in that third and medium area, listen, you got to be worried about the run and the pass. Did a good job playing both, got it stopped, now forcing a fourth down. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. Absolutely perfect. And now the lead is extended a little further. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. On the move from inside is five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. They were really aggressive going for it in their own end last time and put them in a tough spot, David. Yeah, aggressive, reckless. They got to find the balance with this offense to really be productive. And last possession they went for it, they rolled the dice, Palmer, and it didn't work out for them. Yeah, if you're better on third down moving forward, though, you can keep yourself out of those situations. They'll line up for a second down play. Looking to pass, it's Soresby. Fires to the right. Reacted well to the tip, but just couldn't squeeze the football. Instead of the turnover, it'll be third down. This defense has just been all over this guy all game long. Under pressure. They're finding a way to get to him and affect his rhythm. Of course, they have an interception in this game. That's why they've got a big lead here in the fourth quarter. This guy has never gotten into a rhythm. They'll throw on third and short. Now he's going to break the pocket. He'll pull it down. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. So frustrating as a defense because you got the offense in third down. You're in a situation now where you can get off the field if somebody just makes a play, but you let the quarterback escape. And then beyond all that, you, you can't even get a good hit on him because he slides to protect himself. They'll throw it on first down. Grabbed in the middle, it's Royer. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him too. Picked up some yardage with that completion, now second down. He's looking to throw. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Man, you see so much of this in football now. Big body wide receivers, right? Guys that can run routes and box guys out. You want to play man-to-man -man coverage on me? I'll put my big body on you. You throw it near me, I'll make the contested catch. Wants to throw on first down. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. Well, the defense really stepped up in this game. They knew they had to slow down this passing attack. They knew they had some matchups. They were going to have to win one-on-one. -on -one. They've been able to do that, and as a result, they haven't allowed 200 passing yards in this game. And after the incompletion on first down, this offense looking at second down. Back to the air one more time. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? The offense came into this game knowing that for them to win, they were going to have to make some big plays throwing the football. That just has not been the case. Here in the fourth quarter, they've been held to less than 200 passing yards, and that's really the story of the game. Guys. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Got his man on the right. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. He caught it. Goes out of bounds just short of the goal line, and they'll be set up in a great position here. 
This is an offense that has skill, and they've got speed. And because of that, this defense, they can't lull themselves to sleep. They've got a big lead here late, but they've now given up back-to-back -back big plays. they got to put the clamps down. After coming up with back-to-back -back explosive plays, here they are first and goal. Getting some heat. And he is snowed under. Sacked at the seven. That's a play the defense needed, right? It's been a battle all game long. Here we are. It's late. Everybody's tired. They've given up a few yards on this drive, but they come away with a huge sack at a big moment. Everybody has to be set. They have to get it off. Wants to throw. It's Soresby. Fires into the end zone. And he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity, but it's incomplete. I love the way this defense is fighting down here close to their own goal line, right? They get a sack on the first play. Great coverage on the second one, knocking it away. Here comes a huge third down. Can they do it again? Can they come up with another big one? It's still third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. Going for six. He makes the catch at the end zone. Touchdown, Cincinnati. <laughs> Really nice job by awareness too from that guy he's working the back line of the end zone it's so easy to step out of bounds there but he knew where it was and when he made the catch he made sure just to get one toe down to secure the TD He'll try to tack on one more. And it's perfect. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they finish things off with an 8-yard toss for the score. They're definitely up against it. Time running out. Down two possessions. They'll try the onside kick. And a few anxious moments, but the hands team is able to fall on it. Yeah, and this is why you put your hands team on the field most of the time. You, when you know it's coming and you put those guys that are great catchers of the football, the first guys, what do they do? They go block. They go blow somebody up. The next guys catch the football, secure it, get your butt on the ground. And most of the time when you do this, the ball game is over. Defense uses a timeout quickly trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. They're in control. The clock is their friend. You'd have to expect another run here on second and six. Takes the handoff. It's Hayden. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Their work here is virtually done. No need to take any more chances. They'll line up in victory formation. And with things in their favor on the scoreboard, the quarterback's favorite play in the playbook. The old kneel down from victory formation. 